You can come out now, little friend. I know you've been following me. Huh? What's that? Oh, a name tag. Let's see. Kitty, what's your name? Miller. Nice name. Aww. Where's your owner, Miller? Are you lost? So cute. Well, you're welcome to stay if you want. There's always room for one more cat. <laughs> oh, so cute. <gasps> Mila, reanimate the control of... Oh, fresh corpse. Only a burn house link. Got it. Wow. <laughs> Someone's popular today. Huh? What do you mean? The cats. Just look at them. They adore you. Cats? Oh, yes. <laughs> These furry rascals are rather lovely, aren't they? Sarah Aww. mentioned something about cats not being allowed inside. Really? Well, mm. she's always preferred dogs. <laughs> but don't worry, we can keep the cats a secret. Kieran won't say anything to her either. And Jenny, well, ladies like her never stay long. <laughs> She'll probably be gone before next Sunday. <laughs> hey, uh, you're not heading towards the kitchen by any chance, you are you? want a sandwich? Yeah. You hungry? Oh, you wouldn't mind a nice sarnie, yeah. Sarnie? Right. I'm on it. Okay. Can we pet the kitty? No. Okay. Great. What's the next thing I'm gonna make? Can we make a sweet sandwich? I don't think anything fits with strawberry jam. That's the thing. How about if we just go strawberry? And uh, sweet corn? That sounds kind of weird in a sandwich. I've never had it. I, I've had it in pizza. <laughs> so it's just gonna be a, a, a strawberry bread. Done. Yay! <laughs> it's just that. Uh, take it. Okay. <coughs> oh, what? Maybe he'll grab it from the kitchen and oh Oh, this is me <laughs> Oh man, I can do that open like a piñata. So, where are you, Mr. Cat? What 
Oh. You look bigger today. Yeah. Perhaps it's because I'm so proud of you. Two tasks completed already. Well done, Angeline. You're really doing it. Hmm. I suppose I am. Thanks. But why am I here again? That's how things work on Burnhouse Lane. Once you find it, you can never really leave it. Am I dead? Did I choke to death coughing? <laughs> Is that it? No. You're here because it's time for your third task. Okay. But I've only just finished the last one. You don't have a lot of time, Angie. You know that. Fine. What do you want me to do now? You must go to the nearby town of Honiton. There's a woman there named Mary Willis. She lives in a house on the far side of town, away from prying eyes. Once, she was on the front pages of all the local newspapers. Now, most have forgotten she even still exists. See, Mary used to be a nurse. A phlebotomist. One day, her colleagues caught her stealing blood bags. Oh. She was secretly stashing them in the trunk of her car so she could take them home. Mary lost her job, but did not go to jail. Instead, she spent a couple of years on the psychiatric ward, treated for schizophrenia. Okay. But what's that got to do with me? You will enter Mary's house and spill a drop of blood into her meal. Then, you must make sure she consumes it. Okay. Why? Because blood is where your sickness lives. If you want to cure it, you must first share it with someone else. Someone horrible, Okay. Like Mary. But won't that kill her? No. It's just part of the ritual. The only meaning it has is symbolic. How do I make her drink it, though? She loves all blood. She'll love yours, too. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Mm -hmm. You'll see. Now, go back before poor old George starves to death. Yeah, you really... But I... No. Quiet now. Listen. Be still. And let the darkness take you back into your world. This is a very nice voice. Who's the voice actor? <laughs> Ooh. Don't die, don't Angie? die. It's the cancer, isn't it? Oh, you poor thing. Is there something I can do? I could use a friend. I could use a friend. You know, I'll understand if you need to go. This desolate farm isn't really the right place for someone like you. Actually, George has told me there's a spare bedroom upstairs. I can have it, if I want. Oh yeah? This place is exactly what I need after everything I've been through. Oh. So I'm gonna take him up in his offer and stay for a while. Yay. The thing is... I've done some fucked up shit. <laughs> and I don't even mean the vicar. It's a lot of things I kind of fucked up. And I could also use a friend. Angie. Okay. Yeah. There's just uh, one problem. The room, well, it's uh, locked. And neither George nor Kieran knows what happened to the key. Oh, is that Maybe you've oh. seen it? Oh wait, there's yeah, yeah. another room too. We've seen a lot of keys. Sure. What does it look like? 
It's, uh, yellow, and it apparently has a, a lion engraved on it. A lion? I think that's the word Kieran used. I honestly can't understand what he's saying half the time. I'll let you know if I see it. Don't I have it? I have it. Every time I make a sandwich, is like a weird sandwich, okay? Ew. Oh. You alright, George? Are you mad? Uh, quite fine, oh, dear, thank you. Okay. Oh, he loves it. That's simple. <laughs> So like all the others I tried to make for you, you didn't like any of them. You just... Ah, damn it. <laughs> Staying with all the cats. Alright. So I'm gonna go open the door, I guess. This is an extra room too. So I don't really know why she doesn't use this one. That's a bed, right? Uh, okay. You found the key? I didn't realize that I've had it on me all along. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Shall we go in? Don't ask me, it's your room. One of the perks of being an actress is that I always stay in five-star hotels, wherever I go. They have those fancy bathrobes and mint chocolates waiting for you on the pillow. Sometimes they even do room service for pets. <laughs> What'd you imagine? You can order a poached fucking salmon for your fucking chihuahua if that's <laughs> something that floats your boat. But this house and this room they're just so much better in what way no one's pretending anything here this shit is real so are the spiders mm -hmm. just wait till you find one i don't mind spiders this place is oh exactly what i need in my life right spiders now. are cute jenny are you sure it isn't your near-death experience that's making you see things through rose-colored glasses because let's face it, this house is a bit shit. <laughs> I don't care. I haven't felt this good in a while. How's that? Is that bit? Is well, that bit? <laughs> Enjoy. I have a little errand to run in Honiton. So I'll see you later, I guess. I hope this errand doesn't involve any serial killers again. In mm. Honiton? Please. I mean, Anything that's capable of killing you in that dead little town is boredom. Sure. I... I didn't mean to patronize you. <laughs> I just... <sighs> Be careful, yeah? Yeah, okay. Um, you're good here, you're all set up, and what is this? <laughs> Alright. Do I have anything? Oh, I forgot to put this up there. So lonely right here. 